Hello, my name is Barry Adams, and we're here at the Steele County History Center with a photograph taken June 19, 1916, 100 years ago. Why did these hundreds of folks show up at the Rock Island train station on that June day 100 years ago? From March 10th until that June day, every day folks read in the newspaper that there was serious trouble down on the Mexican border. Pancho Villa and a bunch of bandits, we would call them terrorists today, had repeatedly attacked American civilians in New Mexico and Texas. For three months, the headlines every day competed with the headlines about the, the presidential election and the headlines about the war in Europe that had been going on for two years. After the United States sent a punitive expedition to Mexico under General John J. Pershing, surely every Minnesotan got worried about the border troubles that might pull our National Guardsmen into the fight. 125 members of Company I, 2nd Minnesota Regiment, and their families and their friends hoped that the regular army could deal with Pancho Villa. When guys like Amos McGrady saw the headlines that said the state National Guardsmen were going to be called, everyone must have gotten nervous. Well, that brings us to the photo of all the folks at the train station. The Minnesota National Guard was called out. After a banquet and a parade in Owatonna, they took the train to Fort Snelling where they were equipped and they were shipped off to Lano, Texas, where they spent the next seven months protecting the border while the rest of the army was chasing Pancho Villa. There wasn't much excitement protecting the border during those seven months. They saw no combat, but the people down there in southern Texas and New Mexico sure appreciated them being there. None of the boys in 1916 knew that they were going to be called again in 1917 into federal service. Then, after another banquet and another parade to Rock Island Depot, off they went to France. World War I drew these boys back into service to deal with Kaiser Wilhelm's forces, and Amos McGrady died in service in 1917, and he's buried in Noah Tom. For more information, come and visit our exhibit hall and our website. Steele County Historical Society focuses on preserving and sharing our history today for tomorrow.